Hello, UIC fans, and welcome to another edition of the Flames Weekly Update. I'm Sam Paniotovich. The Horizon League Women's Basketball Awards were announced Monday, and Ravonna Campbell took home her second straight Defensive Player of the Year award. Campbell was also named to the All-League First Team and the All-Defensive Team. Terry Bender was voted to the All-Defensive Team for the second consecutive season. Seated at number six, the Flames enjoyed one of their best shooting performances of the season on Wednesday night, but they ultimately dropped a Horizon League quarterfinal matchup at third-seeded Cleveland State by a 76-70 score. The Flames made 51% of their field goals, but the Vikings set UIC opponent season highs in points and field goal percentage. Campbell scored 26 points and moved into 13th on UIC's all-time scoring list. The baseball team split its first four home games of the season last week. The Flames fell to Chicago State and won two of three to open Horizon League play against Valparaiso. Tyler Detmer led UIC with six hits and extended the nation's longest reached base streak to 36 games. David Cronin and Alex Lee paced UIC with four runs driven in as the Flames scored 18 runs overall. Jake Dahlberg and Ian Lewandowski both impressed in wins as they combined to allow only four runs over 16-plus innings of work. UIC returns to the field on Wednesday at Illinois State. The softball team won two of five games at Central Florida over the weekend, including a 4-3 walk-off win over Monmouth Sunday to close out the tournament. Elaney Politis impressed at the plate with seven hits and only 13 at-bats. Amanda Menner had six hits and three RBIs, while Taylor Kearns drove in a team-high four runs. Bridget Boyle threw a complete game shutout against Fairfield and struck out two batters in the one-hit gem. With the conclusion of their tournament season, the Flames will prepare to open Horizon League competition next weekend as they host Oakland at Flames Field. The women's tennis team played its first match of the season at the Flames Outdoor Tennis Courts on Sunday. The Flames came away with a 7-0 shutout win over Bowling Green and their third victory of the season. UIC swept doubles and finished each singles match in straight sets. The Flames will kick off their conference season with a match at Valparaiso on Thursday. The women's gymnastics team defeated Southeast Missouri State Sunday afternoon at the UIC Pavilion. The Flames earned their highest team score of the season on Senior Day. Gabrielle May shined in her final meet as a Flame, winning the bars and floor exercise on her way to a career-best all-around score. Nikki Woodruff tied May for first in the vault competition. UIC now heads to Texas for the Midwest Independent Conference Championships starting on Saturday. UIC divers competed at the NCAA Zone C Championships over the weekend. Whitney Johnson, Rachel Crishone, Tyler Pastor, and Mark Chesielski represented the Flames on the campus of Ohio State. Whitney Johnson ends her career as the only diver in UIC history to qualify for four NCAA Zone C Championships. She is the Flames record holder for the one-meter dive. Stay tuned to UICflames.com every Monday for the Flames Weekly Update, and make sure to check out the Flames' official Twitter and Facebook pages for all the latest news and results from UIC Athletics. I'm Sam Paniotovich, and as always, go Flames!